<clears throat> Hello and welcome to the Black Pudding Show. Hi, my name is Kaylin Leahy and here today to do a reading and grammar and vocabulary check of a piece. What I will do in this video is read an article from a from a newspaper specifically today the English version of El País and then later I will help you with grammar and with vocabulary this is to improve your listening skills and your general English skills so first before we do that I must open my text here and show you this will be the piece but first I'll show you it's I'm taking this from El País the English version okay as you can see it's very useful as you can see many different articles about the COVID-19 but I'd rather focus on something not related for two reasons number one in Spanish or in English or in German or in whatever language you speak you're hearing a lot about the coronavirus. I'd rather do a topic that's unrelated. And two, I don't want my videos to date badly. This means that when you, if you're watching this video six months after the coronavirus pandemic, you w it won't be as if we, you were in April, which we are in now. Okay? So... The article I'm going to go for is about um, Roman history, it seems. And it's written by, it's called Inside uh, Bertus Iulia, the Roman city in the south of Spain. It's written by Vicente G. Olaya, okay? And translated by Heather Galloway, just to give them some props, because it's their work that we're using. Before we do anything else, I want to, if you want to see more videos and more content from us, you should subscribe on our YouTube page, The Black Pudding Show. All you have to do is open up YouTube and The Black Pudding Show. And we come up. Very easy. So all you have to do is subscribe. Okay, I'm going to cancel my subscription so I can show you at a later date. Um, so, very easy. What I'm going to do with this document, it's a Word document that everybody can see. I am going to put the link in the description of the video. Okay, so will we begin. I will put this now on full screen. So, inside Berto Bertos Iulia, the Roman city in the south of Spain, okay, by Vincente G. Olaya, or Vincent G. Olaya, as we would say in English. Okay, recent evacuations have revealed the site at the Torre Paredones Archaeological Park had an amphitheater as well as markets public baths and the forum so these are all uh, structures or places that are well known to be a part of the roman uh, a part of roman architecture and city planning so nothing too difficult here um okay in the in this sorry turn okay in the south of Spain lie the remains of an ancient Roman city, Bertus Iulia, as it was likely to have been called, was built between 30 and 27 BC in Ituci. E e e e like in English, we'd probably call that Ituki. Ituci. E e e much like the Spanish, I would imagine. A fortified settlement, settlement made by pre-Roman people known as Turin, Turden, 
Danny. I told him Danny. I told him Danny. As you can see, like I struggle <laughs> sometimes to say these types of words because they're okay. I speak Spanish, but they're not usual in English to have these types of words. So anything of interesting here? So you see the word south. Okay, I'm sure you remember that in English we have. Um, in in English we have n north, south, east, north, south, east, and west. So I'll show you. North, south, east, and west. These are the direction the the compass directions. A una brujala is in English is a compass. So north, south, east, west. In just important to know, they'll come up again. Okay, um, <coughs> and lies the remains. So a word you might know: remains, los restos. Okay, and particularly this word here is very interesting. Lie. So, one thing I will show you is I have it, I have it written here. Google Translate. Okay. Google Translate can be a very useful tool, but also a very bad tool. Because why? Because words in one specific word in any language can mean a lot of different things in another language. Or many words in one language can mean one thing specifically in another language. Okay, and that mightn't be clear, but what I will do is show you with an example here, lie. Okay, so the first word that comes up is lie, mentira. Okay, which means a lie, a falsehood, and a truth. Something that isn't real. Okay. Em um, buste. Okay. This word, in this case, is not a s noun. A sustantivo. It's a verb. Okay. So, is it going to be lie? No. Out of context, we'll know. Remain. Be present. It's more like estar. Okay. I would even go down so far as to say it's more like one of these words. Okay. No, this is just the real life. Rest. No, it was not that because rest to lie down, for example. You have to look for it. Do you stay? Stay, stand, remain, be present. It's more like a star, lie, are. Okay. So you see what happens sometimes when you use Google Translate. What's very important is to use context of sentence as well. Okay, I don't want to stick on this too much, but it'll, we'll just continue. Um, okay, after, so let's see where the end of the sentence is. Oh, there we go. So, after more than 30 years of research, it is now known that Virtus Julia has huge city gates, a market, baths, and a forum, which was adorned with sculptures of figures such as Roman emperors, Augustus, Livia, and Caligula, whose face was replaced by that of Emperor Claudius when he succeeded him, and now on show at the Bena uh, historical and archaeological museum in the southern Spanish province of Cordoba. Uh, so we probably call Cor Cordoba, Cordoba, Cordoba. Like in English, we we change when it comes to place names in Spain. We change the pronunciation depending. For example, Sevilla, Sevilla is Seville. Burgos would be Burgos, like burger. Um, and, and so on. So after, so research is a word you might not know. Research is una, uh, la investigación. Okay. Um, so after 30 years of investigation, uh, 
it, they found out that it's actually a very big place. It had big gates, it had all these places. It was adorned. It's adorned, I'm sure, is a word in Spanish. With sculptures and figures such as... Livia, I don't think, was an emperor. She was the wife of Caesar Augustus, if I can remember truthfully. So that isn't too difficult, is it? So what you see now... Okay, we have the southern. So when s north, south, east and west are adjectives, adjetivos, we use them with the E or N. So southern, be south becomes southern. North becomes northern. East becomes eastern. So you can guess what west was, would be. Okay, so, um, let's continue, I'm going to make this bigger, so, thanks to the evacuation work from the experts at the universities of Córdoba and Granada, it was discovered last summer that the city also had a 70 meter long amphitheater which was used as a venue for entertainment, including gladiator fights, gladiator fights, excuse me, fights and wrestling with wild beasts. Okay, so you will see this word. If you're, if you speak Latin, if you speak a Latin language, let's say like Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Romanian, these types of languages, you will see that the Latin influence over the English language. We could talk about this, but uh, that's a topic for another day. You can see the word excavation, excavar, caver, like to dig. Okay. And um, so it can be sometimes very, very good to figure out the meaning of English words using your mother tongue your primary la primary language okay your mother language but also be careful because sometimes it can be very misleading misleading they can it can get get you into trouble okay and uh, it was discovered last summer so that's very easy now the meaning they've they've found this theater and they found a great big wrestling is a word you mightn't know wrestling is the type of um sport i can so we can always we can always look up the word. That's the beauty of having it. Sorry, <laughs> wrestling is like this, yes. But it's like <laughs> it's it comes in two forms. Catch catch wrestling and uh Olympic wrestling. Okay. I thought I don't think I don't think the wrestling in Roman times was fake, to be honest. So let's go. The new study titled Use of Remote Sensing, Geophysical Techniques and Archaeological e Excavations to Define the Roman Amphitheatre of Torre Paredones, un undertaken by archaeologist Antonio M Monteroso Checa and six other experts, explains that the latest excavation involving the digging of six trenches to define the outer limits of the building confirmed the results obtained two years ago using the so-called li LIDAR system, laser remote sensing, which has shown the existence of a large structure of ashlars 10 meters deep. Okay, so that's a quite a difficult sentence to say. So if you really, really, really want a challenge, <laughs> try, try, try repeating that, because that was difficult for me. Um, so one word which is interesting is a word that's not related to Latin or is not like a Latin word. It's digging, to dig. It's excavate, excavar. Okay. It obviously came from a Germ one, a Ger the German side of the language or the... So, and another word, trenches, that's, well, so it's quite similar in, in Spanish, to be fair, which are like, you put a trench 
around a castle if you were protecting it. Um, so they use they use this laser remote sensing, this laser system to find the huge ex huge structures that were un underneath the ground. Oof. I have to copy that badly. Um, an ashlar. I have no idea what an ashlar is, so let's have a look, will we? An ashlar, see there. Oh, it's a type of brick. Um, we see it's a, fi a finely dressed cut worked stone, either an individual stone that is worked onto a squared or the structure built from it. Okay, look, there you go. Ashlar, or as you, or you would, oh, excuse me. As you would say in Spanish, see I. Okay, excellent, let's continue. So. The study also reports that the amphitheater was outside the city walls. So it was outside the city walls, so it was inside, okay? Covering about 11 hectares, only 10% of which has been excavated. Okay, so out of the 10 hectares, it's huge, basically, <laughs> the thing, the amphitheater, and they've only been ex able to execute 10% of it. I can't believe that this exists in Spain. I'd love to see it. Um, Virtus Julia was built on a 580-meter hill and was distributed in terraces following the topography of the land. So, topography is is something that you might have to look up if you didn't know what it was it's topography is this topography is the study of the shape and features of land surfaces okay um so once so basically what it's saying is that once they once they studied the way w the land was distributed, they saw that it was in terraces. Okay. Interesting, no? So, there was also... There, there was also a network of streets crossing the city with a main road leading to the amphitheatre, making it easy for spectators to get to the site and see their favorite gladiators. The remains of a gladiator helmet were found in the latest excavation. So, helmet, El Casco. A helmet was something that you put on your head to protect it. You still wear helmets now, like when you're riding a bicycle. So it was interesting that the, the amphitheater had a network of streets that made it very easy for people to go in and out of it. Because you can imagine in a modern stadium now, they have ma they, there's problems with organization of people coming in and leaving. Now I'm sure this amphitheater isn't the camp the camp new, but I imagine its safety its safety record wasn't very good. Anyway, let's continue. So. Dun 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 dun. The dimensions of the amphitheatre are simple, similar to those in other archaeological sites in Spain, such as the Contributa Ulia in the town of Medina de las Torres in Badajoz province, 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 yeah, province, and the Segobriga located in the municipality of Salesis in Cuenca whose cities were the similar size to the Virtus Julia. Right. So, it's clear still through archaeological findings and work that the, the footprint or the uh, mark that the Roman Empire left in Spain. And there doesn't seem to be any here in the north that I know of in uh, in Burgos, but look, there probably is. I, oh, I don't know. Um, so it's very similar to the other towns that were around. Okay. So the Torre Paredones archaeological site where Bertus Julia is lo located was first excavated in 
1987. Okay, so I'm going to do something here. Here you have, in, for me, when I'm learning Spanish, I have a very, I have a lot of difficulty saying the, the names of years, saying it out. For example, um, 2097. Is it's it, that doesn't come naturally. So what I'm gonna what I put here is a bit of a test for you. So I'm gonna give you one minute to try and say the different um the different years. So what year is this? What year is this? What year is this? And what year is this? So the the first one is um you can say one 1424 next one it's very in, in english it can be very silly then it becomes it can be 2021 or it can be 2021 the next one is 2001 so you can't be 2001 we only say 2001 and the last one is 902 so I'll go through that again when we have a, when we have another. So we'll have two more here. So work work stopped in 1999, but resumed in 2006. Okay, 1999, 2006. You see that it's not like 1999. We only reserve that for saying numbers, not years, and but resumed in 2006. Okay, but we say it for that first decade in the in the two thousands, two thousand six, two thousand five, two thousand four, two thousand. It's it's a bit silly because once you get to two thousand and ten, you can say twenty ten or twenty twenty eleven. So, uh, this is a long sentence again. So directing the site today is Jose Antonio Moreno, Mo sorry, Morena who has established three distinct historical periods. The, the Iberian, which is the Spanish, you know, which includes a wall from the 16th century BC before Christ and a sanctuary where hundreds of offerings dedicated to the goddess Dea Celestius were found. The Roman, which is represented by the city of Bertus Julia and the medieval attested to by the castle ruins. So words that resumed, resumed means to start again. Okay. Resumed means to start all over again. I didn't mark it and I probably should have. So what I'm going to do is mark it now. Um, hang on. Commas. Uh, resume. Resume. To resume, even. Uh, em, empezar. Otra vez. Uh, uh, if there's no, if there's another w verb for it, please tell me, and I'll, uh, and I'll and I'll change that. In two thousand and six, directing the site today is Jose Antonio. Okay, establish, establish. Uh, all these words are very similar to Latin words. Blah, blah, blah. Um, offering might be a word you know don't know oh it's in Spanish as well so when they gave sacrifices or money or just strange things that they used to like offer to the gods we still use the word offer right it's an offerta offerta okay um so attested is a strange word I didn't think that through so it's like the it, it's to mean the proof of this is a word that is not used very often in English. So obviously you recognize what it is, but you don't ha don't be worried about learning it. Da, da, da. Okay. So let's continue. So if you have any questions, of course. What if you? I'll stop at this point. This is a good point to stop. If you have any questions, you need to take a break. The beauty of the internet is the beauty of the internet is that you can stop pause 
go to the bathroom, drink some water, relax. Look, I'm even going to drink some water now because I get tired when I'm talking. If you need to rehear something, you go back in the video. If you have a question, leave a comment under the video. In on the on the YouTube channel, you can leave comments. Okay? It's very easy. Look. I will answer your questions. It's no problem for me. Okay? So let's continue. So Um, according to Carlos Marquez, professor of archaeology at the University of Córdoba and director of the Torre Paredones research group, the remains from the Roman period include three complexes. The Forum, with its assembly room, the Correa, the Basilica, Temple, and the Porticoes, the market surrounded, uh, the Porticoes. The market surrounded by 13 shops and the amphitheater which lay beyond the city wall, all of which was granted cultural heritage protection in 2007. Okay. So the forum, which is the, the famous Roman forum that you'd find in Rome, they are all Roman cities, had this thing. The Curia, which I think was like a senate senate room no the basilica like a place to worship temple and porticos and the market which is like a market we even have okay and this is a very interesting word beyond beyond can mean many different things but in this case it means fuera outside of okay not a word that's used very often to be honest but it's it's a nice word beyond Okay, outside of city walls, all granted. So grant is to give, so you grant power or you grant permission. If you're a teacher and someone wants to go to the toilet, you grant them permission to go to the toilet. Okay, and so they were given cultural heritage protection. Very good. So the conservation of some of the, the buildings is exceptional such as the public baths located by the Eastern Gate, which were excavated and studied by the Spanish archaeologist Angel Be Ventura, or Angel ben Ventura, as we would call him. And so you say, when, when we say the word like this, Ventura in, in Spanish, but we said Ventura. So you, this T-U, very strangely, and it happens in other words in English, it's a ch 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 like ch, -ch like a train. Ventura. Um, so the, the, the conservation of some buildings is exceptional. So they're just saying basically it's been that they've kept their they've, they've kept shape and they're in good quality. The baths cover around 500 square meters and have three meter high walls reaching almost to the roof. So you know the roof is the thing that's on top of the house. And th this can be very confusing sometimes. If you're in a room and you look up, you see the ceiling. But on top of your house or on top of your apartment block, they have the roof. Okay, so ceiling, like my name kind of sounds like ceiling, and then roof is on top. Rectangular in shape, shape meaning format, there is still evidence of changing rooms. So, changing rooms. This is the word we use for the places where we change our co clothes. So even back then, in Roman times, for the rich, they had privacy. A cold room, a warm room, and a hot room. As well as latrines, which is an old, a word for bathroom that's not used. It's used in the military the word latrine, but not really in common usage. So what's the difference between hot and warm? Hot and warm. So warm is like tepid. 
and hot is like a lots of heat. Warm is comfortable, but cozy at Koche Dor. And hot is usually uncomfortable. Or it depends on you. For example, I'm Irish, so hot, not so good. A hall and a, a, a hall and service area and ovens to heat the floor. An oven is where you make your dinner. Okay. Um So, while visitors are not currently allowed to the site due to the coronavirus lockdown, okay, they can download the cell phone and tablet app to the Circulo Escultorico de Torre Paradones, Torre Paradones Culture Route. Um, cell phone, we don't really use that word anymore, cell phone. We more use the word uh, mobile phone. And in Ireland, we use mobile. I think cell phone is very American sounding. Okay. So, which provides a virtual tour around the main buildings and offers a view of everything from the inscription to the Roman Council Marcos Unius Martelos, who paid for the paving of the forum to a 3D look at the enormous statues of the emperor found there, emperors found there. So, a, a, a building is, you live in a building if you live in an apartment, is where your office. So, the Roman council used to be like the, mil the military and political leader that was, they had like a term of two years, I can't really remember. I studied it when I was a child, and I can't really remember now. So he paid for the paving. Paving is the el pavimento, the 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 footpaths and things like this. Three D, obviously not three dimension. Okay, so very easy, no? So they've got this beautiful app that lets you go on the tour, which I think I might do myself. Um, so not yet on show are the newly discovered amphitheater and a theater that laser images appear to have detected. So, what they're saying is that the amphitheater isn't open yet. Um, so, Antonio Monteresso Checa report states that the last theater has been located inside the walls. Further excavations will have to be undertaken to confirm this, says a cautious Marquez, but it's almost certain. Okay. Cautious, prudente, is that he's just being careful, like we all should be careful with her. Um, like he has to be careful because science is a slow and um, methodical undertaking. So undertaking means, means to do, um, will have to be done. Undertaking means that it's like something that has to be done, but with more effort. Okay, so I will undertake the task of having to do my homework. Right, so th the article, there isn't much to say about it. It's very black and white. It's just telling you exactly about this. But it does seem like a very, very, very interesting, um, very interesting place. And it's, it's great to see that they're s preserved so well. So that was the first of our readings. What I'm going to try to do is do two or three of these every week. So um, so I will produce two or three of these every week. And if you have any questions, um, you can send me an email. I'm blackpuddingshow at gmail.com. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us. I'll show you now. Uh, I will go back to our other page. So we're on YouTube, as you know. We're also on Instagram. Blackpuddingshow.com. Oh. And we're also on 
Facebook. So if you have any questions, or if you have any queries, please let me know. Okay, bye bye and see you soon.